It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Welcome back to the show. Chick and I arguing about uh, some tr minor traffic issues. Um, no, it's just it's just your general uh, attitude toward all of us. You think we don't have lives? We barely get by. No, you were arguing with me during the during the local window there. Well, you uh, exaggerated like you always do. And, uh, no, I, no. I, I live in a very wooded area, but there aren't trees in the middle of the road. I believe there are branches hanging down, but you're well, not going to hit a, a all huge, the trees. There was a huge branch blocking the road. A huge branch <laughs> I had to take an alternate route. Really. <laughs> Yes. I don't <laughs> believe you. Well, let's get in the car and I'll take you Let's there. do uh, it. Please, please do that. Please, yes. <laughs> when you have to take an alternate route, I know that secretly inside you go, oh, yes, thank goodness. I oh, can yeah. tell everybody about this, the yes. adversity that I went through today. This is complicated. It's amazing. I, I live, love this. I live in kind of a area where there's only three roads out. And uh, I live in an area where there's only one road. Out. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, my driveway. Uh, yeah, yeah mine too. Well, never mind. I, yeah, I my driveway goes out to the street. That's the only choice I got. <laughs> my driveway was fine. There's only three ways. <laughs> <of> oh. <laughs> He's crazy. See, there's Seriously, a... I want to be better. If it's me, tell me. I mean, these people with the ten exits on yeah. the street. Those, uh, they, 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 they've got it made. Boy, oh boy, I got three choices. That's it. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, boy. A lot of parking lots don't have three ways out. <laughs> out of my neighborhood, Josh. I, Me I, too. I, that's what I'm talking about. I live in a gated community. Yeah. You, know? you love that. Uh, you can only get out on the south side of the neighborhood. There's you a that, river You got that on. code, don't you, Willie? Uh, Tom yeah, doesn't know. We can it. over there and... and yeah, he I doesn't know. know the code. He does not know the code. Guaranteed does not know the code. Do you I, have an I, I automatic have a, opener? I have a garage door opener thingy. Oh, okay. In the car. So if I forget that, I have to call someone to get the code. Hang on, I gotta write that down so I can change the put the dead batteries in that for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are there a lot of trees where you live? <laughs> in Middle Earth. I don't live that way. I, I don't live, know where you live. This road is full of trees. Where, where do you think where he lives? Where do you think I live? I don't know, some place where they've mowed down all the trees. No, he lives right by Planted your little house. saplings. No, you can mow trees. You actually lived near where I Chick lives. I have gigantic trees yes. in my neighborhood. A couple of, I have a I have a pear tree in my front yard where the deer come and eat during the spring. Nice. I did. Oh. You, you, Chick, you, he hates fruit trees. He does not like fruit trees. What, he what's terrible. your beef what? with fruit tree trees? <laughs> they, they're, they're, they're wonderful. <laughs> I like oak trees, pine trees. <laughs> lemon <laughs> tree. Could we move on? What about uh, a lemon tree? Or I know there's nothing in sports. Oh, lemon today. tree, very pretty. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lemon oh, flower is no. sweet. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear Tony Lopez. Lemon talk tree, about. very pretty. pretty. Um, okay, what do you got over How there? How about now? Uh, hey, uh, Pat? Yeah. Chris Lee, very pretty. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's nice. nice. Work, very work it up. Yeah. Write that one down. Lots that's killer. Christy flowers. Chris Lee has big. What? 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 Patrick. <laughs> now, um, we that's do have this matter. suggestion. Today, uh, 421 should be known as National Random Drug Test Day. <laughs> not sure who suggested that. Well, that's... Uh, it's kind of red. not do that. <laughs> 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 so much better than her. sweet. But the fruit of the I don't know what's going on over here, but I like it. Possible, too. Oh, I do. Sarah, look at that. I look like I'm dancing with a really big woman. I, I, can, I can stop this. That's a very big woman. <laughs> what happened? Uh, Ace oh, what a giant dick you <laughs> Ace killed Joy Cosby. He turned it off. Don't you wish you could do that to your coworkers, Christy? What? Right. Do what? Call them names. We call your name all the time. I know. See, that, that I do that to make you feel good. <laughs> okay. Tom, you ready? This is from a Twitter. This is a guy on Twitter. His name's Nathan. Okay. Oh, the, to get on Twitter, obviously, you have to have credentials up the wazoo. <laughs> I'm already As you know. I'm, right. Nathan tweets, I'm already disappointed by Tom's Etsy quote surprise. Yes. Quote, quote, mm -hmm. He's once again hyping up something that will be, without a doubt, an incredible <laughs> letdown. That's a listener. That's Joe Six. That's a fan. <laughs> Every day guy. Everyone's Every on to you. Every day guy. Everyone's on That's you. what you've done. Okay, well, fine. I think it's interesting that... Uh, one time this happened. One time it, uh, Joe Theismo was on the phone for a surprise. One time. 
It's a nice surprise, I thought. It's a good one. Yeah. Uh, we've had a couple of other recent surprises. <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm working on two surprises right now, if not three. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, you're going to love One of those, them. the puppets. Well, that's yeah, where are they? Yeah, where are those puppets? They're, they, Please, you haven't I used, thought that was a Geppetto joke. Geppetto die? Did you make life-size puppets <laughs> of us? They're not life size. Don't be ridiculous. They're but they're pretty close. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, they're they're in they're in production right now. What do you mean you can't wait? This is madness. I've always wanted a Muppet style puppet after me. He's out of his mind. We're no. going to be out of a job, Josh. He's going to have puppets in here. No, <laughs> I didn't consider that. No, although I was thinking of having a contest. Who wants to shove their hand up? To, never mind. Uh, yeah. You were going to say Christy, yeah. weren't you? Of course not. They can. Uh, do it to you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, uh, where were we, Christy? Um, we had a lot to get to, but I forgot what it was. What the hell is this? Is my puppet going to be fat? <laughs> <laughs> is my puppet going to be bald? Answer the question. Uh, the puppets, I had nothing to do with them. I found what a guy that... Uh, speaking of God, when I walked them. in on that in the break room... <laughs> Uh, Willie and and, and uh, Josh are trying to talk Godwin down, as we do most of the time during the commercials. <laughs> Everything's fine, Pat. Calm down. But they were talking about his hair now. No, no, you got great hair, Pat. You got great hair. Yeah, they were being very nice. Don't very worry sweet. about it. Now, I now. was being honest. What? I, Pat's hair looked great today. Let's see. Uh, now, forward. what he's done with it, uh, well, the headphones aren't doing it any favors, but it's... Uh, <laughs> Well, it's because head. they're covering most of it. Because <laughs> most of it's in the ear area. It comes oh, off to the side. Geez. Pat, it looks really nice. Right. It's kind of like you're pushing it back a little yeah, bit. Well, it's a little uh, Pat's too modest yeah. to say this. Pat's uh, father was a uh, very fine actor, appeared in um, some uh, maybe some, uh, mainly films and movie. theatrical productions. Sal Minio. Uh, Pat's, Pat's a very fine actor. <laughs> Sal Minio was not Nelson Pat's Riley. dad. The point is, Pat, I think right now you could play the Irish accountant in The Mob. What oh, you think? Yeah. Dude, I've told, told Pat that he is incredibly castable. You know, I, I, tell, I tell him that all you know, the time. I see him with fingerless gloves busking somewhere. <laughs> see? In, in another Amy Schumer movie. Right. And he oh, uh, he be, offers be, her uh, sage advice out of nowhere. No, but, uh, for, well, that, that role goes to uh, tell, but still. Yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, for Pat to be busking would be so depressing. I've done it once. Dude, you could play uh, the uh, uh, the manager of a, a mechanic of a shop, an auto shop. You could play a what gangster. Do what do you need, Spock? You could play. I mean, <laughs> yeah, see, you look at this. The guy's versatile. Try this. Go. Uh, it's not going to be ready till uh, Thursday. Nah, I am not going to be able to get it ready till Thursday. Who wow. <laughs> wouldn't watch this? Oh, oh, it's amazing. I'm engaged. I want to see more. I'm sorry. If you lived in New York, you'd be in every uh, spinoff of a Law and Order. You'd be one of those guys. You know what I mean? And the dead be, guys in the beginning. Yeah, you'd be in Blue Bloods. <laughs> going, hey, in I, a body I, bag. I just run a bodega. You could be one of the pervs in, in SUV, whatever it is. Sure, yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, hey, we rent. Law and Order SUV. That's the one where I'm running around New York with my kids in the back of I my car. I saw the kid, but I swear I didn't touch him. <laughs> Try that line, Pat. We rent rooms by the hour. <laughs> there you go. Not hey, by what do you want? Day. This is all, this is all great. There's no witnesses, only the trees. Hey, Flatfoot, you're looking in the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what are we now, Dick Tracy? Hey, Flatfoot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Our lobby camera's broken. <laughs> yes! Oh, dude, God, when you're killing it. Pat, and I could also see you inspiring children. A basketball co a basketball coach who was too short to Dennis make Dennis Hopper, shaky? Yeah, <laughs> kid, I'm only 5'7", but you, you got the goods. Someone yeah. out on the court. You're vert, you can do anything. This guy says you could uh, play a customer at a pawn shop. I mean, you can do all of it. Yes! Talk yes. about method acting. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I'd like to move forward here with Christy. Do, do you want to do a little more of our marijuana hunk? According uh, to the New Yorker, Maine legalized recreational marijuana in 2016, but the rollout has taken several years with sales just beginning last fall. Among the state's restrictions, pot still cannot be delivered, but a website called Incredibles.me -E, has found a workaround. The company in Maine is circumventing the state's marijuana laws by having... Psychics find lost weed. There's a lot of quotation marks in that sentence. Yes. They say in a web post, quote, We have psychics roaming all over Portland communicating with their deity, their spirit guides, and having religious moments of clarity. We can guarantee to find your lost weed. The website instructs <laughs> users to log in, select products they have, quote, unquote, misplaced. Wow. Input their address and their lost <laughs> marijuana will be recovered ASAP. Weed psychics only accept cash and Bitcoin, by the way, with a 10% tip recommended for your psychic driver. No, no, I am not a psychic. 
But uh, I'd like to say, uh, I in their future, I see uh, a jail cell. <laughs> <laughs> this is so transparently fake. It sure is. Well, let them deliver. Uh, no joke. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I would agree, but... It would be cool. But the the great thing about this would be because they're they've got they claim they have psychics roaming around. Right. Mm -hmm. So this would be the first time ever you actually would have mediums at large. <laughs> <laughs> mediums <laughs> at large. Uh, oh, that's uh, that. I just love that. I, I just think that's hilarious, though. Um, that they're getting. I mean, are they getting away with it? I guess they are. Well, so far they're getting away with it. All right. Uh, There's yeah. another delivery story in the news. Denver City Council passed new cannabis legislation that will allow marijuana, listen up, Willie, tour buses. In addition to the tour buses, it will allow people to use pot on board. The changes also permit marijuana deliveries in the city. For the tour buses, the driver would be separated from secondhand smoke with a barrier. I would hope so. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't want to hot box the driver. <laughs> <laughs> well, that uh, the measure is geared towards making or trying to make sure more people have an economic opportunity to benefit from this multi-billion-dollar industry. Right. Yeah. In the economics Denver. are not what they originally thought they were going to be. Hmm. Mm. I um uh, the tour bus. Uh, I, I guess the idea is people can smoke on the bus. Right. But I, without using any names here, a certain friend of the show got in trouble for uh, 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 firing up marijuana on a small jet. Do you mm -hmm. remember this story? I don't. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, and the pilot came across, he said, hey, fellas, you realize the way the air system in this thing works, this is all coming up here, and I can't operate this aircraft safely if... Right. Yeah. Uh, if, if I'm impaired. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So... The basics of flight. <laughs> um, I'm, so would, they, would, would the part of the bus have to have a completely separate... That's what Christy said. I just said that. But I mean, I is, that, yeah. is that possible? I, Why can't uh, they sure, just... They're figuring it out. Why can't you just open a window? Yeah, let them smoke <laughs> and the pilot can open a window. Jeez. Not the pilot, the bus guy. What a, what a redneck. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. A professional pilot, well-trained... Mm -hmm. Uh, well, what they do, what they do in their airplane. downtime is fine, but I think when they're operating the aircraft, I think right, they Trump have lives at stake, including their own. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're not talking about a pilot. We're talking about a bus service. Right. And Christy just said that it, it's cut off from the driver, so that shouldn't be an issue, right? Yeah, they'll right. figure it out. Yeah. I, if states are going to legalize it, I like that they have things like tour buses where folks can go. Not They're not driving themselves. They're right. enjoying it. And the same with deliveries. So this not is, is this like for bachelorette parties or something? Oh, I bet it's for... Anybody. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, for a bachelorette party, they're going to need penis-shaped joints. <laughs> Has that happened sure. yet? God. Oh, boy, how would you do that? I, they, they, there's penis-shaped bowls. Well, most bowls... Gotta like be the little bombs. Bombs. Yeah, they're already... Yeah. They already kind of like a little penis anyway. No, but I mean, do they literally sculpt them with uh, the whole... Um, <laughs> Oh, sure. What's, what's the word I'm looking for? Vein, veiny? Yeah, yeah. And the... Um, the anatomically Rob, correct. What's, what's that thing in the top called? Glands. The hole? Tip? What are you talking about? There's a little about? carb on the left nut there Is for there you? a word for that? The, the G-L-A-N-S. Glands is, for, is yeah. the tip of the penis. Okay. All right. Um, what well. about the hole? <laughs> What about changing the subject? The, no, no. What about the urethral slit? What, what about the what about taking a bat What'd and hitting chick me? in the face with? Did you call him a urethral? What did you call him? I, I thought he was asking about the urethral slit. Is, is that is that the technical term for it? I don't think that. No, I'm just asking if they I've if there's a, heard if there's a, if there's a place that could would roll joints that looked like the male member for bachelorette parties. Well, because they're oh famous for those straws. Right. Yes. yes. Can you imagine working at that plant? I think uh, Willie's right. You, oh, the the uh, Wiener Straw plant. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere in China, some polluting some river, so that oh, bachelor, now you care. bachelorettes can. <laughs> 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 hey, look! If they're making my iPhones, you shut up. But if they're making penis straws, I don't know. So I'm are just, we talking about the weed bus? <laughs> yeah, or, no, yeah I'm saying, is it for is, is this for parties? You get you people on yeah. So it's what like a I've boost noticed cruise? is that it's really hard uh, to smoke pot as a tourist because you can't really do it out in public. You can only really do it in private, and a lot of hotel rooms don't even let you smoke even oh, in the balcony. Oh, nice. uh, there you charge. go. And so this is just a place for people that are you know on vacation in Denver. Them and their pals can get together, go check out some of the spots. Hmm. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, and they're doing it in a safe way. See, how is he your son? He makes this sound reasonable. <laughs> You, on the other hand, are hung up on penis straws. <laughs> Not hung up on them. I think it'd be a funny thing. You'd probably think there's a fortune to be made there. Pre-rolled spliffs in the shape of the male member for bachelorette parties. Well, there would be spliffs. Those are mostly bluesy affairs. Yeah. Well, and you can't legally sell marijuana and tobacco combined. What would you tell people if you were, like, 
made billions of dollars in the the penis straw <laughs> industry. What would you tell Novelties. them? Novelties. I'd go, uh, hey, you know, I make penis straws. By the way, look at all my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'd, be, I'd be happy to chat with you, Enjoy but my, my private yeah. jet is warming up <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I can get the hell away yeah. from you. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and judge me as I take off my <laughs> Allie Breen is our guest. Oh, that's hilarious. Comedian Allie Breen. Allie, uh, you're in, you're, there's some curtains in back of you. Where are you this time? I'm in my dad's house. I'm in Boston. I'll tell him his place looks like a funeral mm. home. <laughs> well, no, it's just that, that curtain behind you. I'm sure it's I know. a very nice place. <laughs> He's a, uh, your, your father's a physician. Is that correct? He is, yes. Okay. Do you have the ability to get up right now and go uh, look in the medicine cabinet? <laughs> <laughs> you want to rummage around so you can find daddy's pad? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> what does he specialize in? He's an ER, so he does everything. Wow. Okay, good for him. Yeah. yeah. My daddy's wonderful. He does everything. <laughs> um, well, that's nice. My daddy's Why funny. am I mad? Yeah, no. we do. <laughs> I have a question. This is a little awkward, and I, I apologize in oh, advance. I know, I know what you're going to do. Oh, God, no. Just a second. Have you ever made love to your father? <laughs> oh, God. Well, that was an awkward, awkward wow. question. I thought that was probably the most awkward. <laughs> yeah, you said it was awkward. Yeah. Josh went uh, right to us. It wasn't a contest for the most awkward. No, okay. I, no I, I... Obviously, when your dad is a doctor, there has to be... Uh, he can probably treat certain things up to a point... Mm. And then there's like an age thing. Oh, okay, yeah. now that you're seven, it's time to go. Right. Did, no, he never treated anything. If I came to him for anything, he was like, go take a nap. That was it. And no. then, yeah, as you get older... Dad, I bumped my head real you. hard. Go take a nap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is arterial bleeding. Go take a nap. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you touch your no-no place? Oh. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Would you stop oh, going man. that direction? I, I, I was thinking about our friend our friend Dan Greeter, who's dad, uh, a veterinarian. Yeah. And mm -hmm. he would, you know, he'd always be sewing up the boys and <laughs> right. oh, all this boy. other stuff. On the other side of that coin, I have a friend who's an ER doc and sews up his dog. I mean, you know, if there's an issue. Okay. He Sometimes he just cuts his dog open so he can no, practice sewing. No, he does not. Well, you got to practice. Yeah. What, 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 uh, Christy, this is my problem. Sometimes I, neighborhood During dogs the break, I'm dealing with these morons. Right. <laughs> and... Uh, Having a, we're having an we're intelligent. We're not the one who thinks a leprechaun lives on a mushroom. Okay. okay? You're thinking of gnomes. It's a pot I think. of gold. I'm telling you, if you Google, leprechauns d are too Allie, big I feel for bad mushrooms. For you. Hang in there. Okay, <laughs> Allie. Right. Now you can ask your dad this. I, I've been reading a lot, a lot lately about. Dad's a doctor. He knows uh, everything. There's something called microdosing, and I think it might be helpful for uh, a certain uh, very serious mental oh, health yeah. issues, including depression. I'm not trying to make light of any of this. No. But um, this this is an article from Science Focus. Uh, that I like to peruse when forced yeah. to. And um, uh, it says that uh, psilocybin, which is a psychedelic drug from magic mushrooms, as they mm -hmm. call them, might be effective in certain cases as an antidepressant. Sure. And I, so I said, I know it works because you've never seen a, a depressed leprechaun, and I got nothing. Because it, that it doesn't did, make sense. Right, right. Most people don't associate leprechauns with mushrooms. They associate them with either the pot of, pot gold, of gold or yeah. Keebler cookies. Oh, what does that have to do with this news story? Or the lucky charms. Yeah, lucky charms would have worked. Well, mm -hmm. elves and leprechauns are about the same size, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They are. <sighs> I yeah, Google. You're not going to see an elf sitting on a but mushroom. But the only thing that lives under a mushroom, weren't those Smurfs? That's yes. Smurfs that lived they in They actually mushrooms. lived in them, didn't they? Oh. Yeah, I believe well, if, so. I don't think anything else has a mushroom okay, connection. Okay, well, I'm, right now, look at this guy. Green hat, big beard, tiny little mu leprechaun. What's he sitting on, Willie? He's sitting uh, on a mushroom. That's a giant mushroom. Yeah, but this is the problem with Google. You can Google anything, and you can find it. If you that's Google, true. Google birds with arms, and you're going to find pictures of birds with arms photoshopped in there. I'm just saying there are hundreds of pictures. I think it's a tradition that okay, leprechauns are... Uh, we can move forward from here. Allie Breen is a comedian. She's uh, based in New York City, but she travels the world, and uh, she gets lots of letters and you spell her name a-l-l-i-b-r-e-e-n and uh, you can send her your love troubles and we'll try to help and uh, so far yes. we're 0 for 700 oh. on these um, <laughs> what have you got today we got Allie? one or two in yeah, there we've dear got Allie my new boyfriend is a FaceTime ho and FaceTimes me like 20 times a day okay I feel like it must have been invented by a jealous boyfriend it gives me no room to misbehave and I must say I like to misbehave once in a while what can I do to get him to text instead of FaceTiming all the time? You could tell him, hey, I prefer to text. 
Done <laughs> next. No, but I mean, this woman sounds awful. <laughs> I got a feeling the only reason he's FaceTiming is to check where she is. Yeah, it sounds right. like Jesus. And it yeah. sounds like, it sounds like he's, it sounds like, well, he shouldn't trust her based on. Well, when she yeah. says misbehave, does she mean. What does she mean by that? She? Is, yeah. Probably. Oh, not necessarily. Oh, if that's what she means, then he's got good reason to. But if you don't like it, tell him. Oh, so sick of it. What do you mean by misbehaving <laughs> is. Do you really think that in the real world, not Josh land where you live, but yes. you could actually discuss a problem with your significant other and a some sort of a solution would be found? I think that you absolutely can. Yes, of yeah. course. Sometimes well, the solution is, you know what, this isn't going to work. Communication's you're, key. You're living it's in a, a painful fool's solution. paradise. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hey, Allie. Before... Or she could just lie and say that she's having a bad hair day and she doesn't want to talk to him, but she needs to text. Yeah, because lying's good. good for him. But there, yeah. there, there is such a thing as too <laughs> the much. core of a relationship. You know, too, too much phone time, too right. much FaceTime, too much everything time. Of course. Yeah. Christy, ever be you ever with someone that you'd spend a couple hours with them, the minute you get in your car, you pull out and the phone rings and it's them? <laughs> this better be good. <laughs> Is that how you answer? Wow. <laughs> can you, can you, can anyone just imagine what it's like to no. be in a romantic oh, relationship? Even my, no. No. even my voicemail says, good Lord. hi, this is Tom. Now what? <laughs> good Lord. Uh, We've yeah. not done any good today. I, I, no. Let's move forward. Uh, thanks, Allie. You Allie. can reach Allie Breen, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N, on all social media platforms. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.